we don't subscribe to things that box us in or, you know, we got pretty over the Justice Committee scenario back at Foster Road, but it came back because the people who were present, it felt useful to them. It felt like mm -hmm. something to try. And I think right. that's, you know, we don't have a list of the names of the people who founded our school. It's, it's mm. just about the people present. The beauty of it <clears throat> is it is about who's present and who's, who's yeah. currently here. That's one of the points I make in one of my books. So I consider VFS to be a holistic school. And I make a distinction between shallow holism and deep holism. Mm. A shallow holism is a reaction against the typical mainstream school in which, you know, the school shapes the student in a certain way and they're going to get a certain outcome and it's going to be a certain way. And mm -hmm. then shallow holism says, oh, but we're going to include this, we're, we're going to have a nice experience for the student. We're not just going to have one size fits all. We're going to, mm -hmm. it's going to be a better experience for the student. But it's still a school creating an experience for that child. Mm -hmm. And what I think that, what I think is a deep holism is a school that says the children who are here will change us as well. Mm -hmm. Is we expect mm -hmm. to be changed by our students. Mm -hmm. That's a deeper holism. Exactly. That's a holism that says parts mm -hmm. and holes are interactive. They, they, mm -hmm. they influence each other. It's not mm -hmm. a top down. It's not bottom up. Yep. It's both. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, there's a, a way that we have created a community about caring, uh, centered on people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the people who show up bring their caring. And so it's mm -hmm. mutually reported. But the structure of the community is such that that's the goal. That's the yes. point is that yeah. it is mm -hmm. about caring and holding a space for caring. Mm -hmm. However, that's going to show up each time or each year. It's going to be a new and different thing because there's going to be some new people and, and yep. some old people have gone away. And to me, that's that deeper holism. That's that deeper mm -hmm. essence of like, we're really taking a whole view mm -hmm. and accepting that mm -hmm. we, when we accept someone into our community, we're accepting who they are and that yes. they have mm -hmm. something to bring. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. Yeah. I really appreciate that framing because me too. It's, it's such a good way into this whole concept and you know, sometimes just taking on self-directed education from the get-go is a little too much of a leap. Mm. And so this is, a, mm. to me, a way in for people to just start considering, like, there's actually a whole other way we can think about mm. these communities we put our children into. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>